but for them, which thou hast given me. But for them, reading in John 10, mm -hmm. you know? And, 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 and what people don't realize, he's talking, when he says, I, I, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, he's talking about the world. When you look that word up, that Greek word goes back to cosmos, cosmos. which goes back to orderly arrangement. Yeah. The ones that were orderly arranged were his people, the Israelites. So when he said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, he was saying that I pray for the elect men. I don't pray for all the men of Israel. So where do everybody else fit in that? If he's not praying for two thirds of his people, how much more outside of the circle is the rest of the nations? Go ahead. But for them which thou hast given me. And we just read who, who, who the father draw to him, the brother just read, you know. For, for they are thine, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Mm. And I know I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Yahweh, keep, keep. Because, because if he, because if they was one person, why was he praying to himself? It don't make no sense. Who is he talking to then? Because that's a prayer right there. He said, I pray for them. What is he praying to himself? Keep through thy own name those who thou, those whom thou hast given me, mm -hmm. that they may be one as we are. Mm -hmm. See, <laughs> meaning on one accord, one mind. Yeah. You know, he, he said to, as we are. To, 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 right. to, to, to basically broad your extension, if you have an, um, a, a mobster and he, he tells a group of people to go blow up that building. Is a uh, group of people's gonna receive the glory? I was like, no, um, such and such, what's the name did that? Even though his people did it for him, he's gonna receive the glory because he's the head, because all the people uh, results is a reflection of him. Yep. Of that of that main of that main person. Just to give you a sort of an idea of uh, uh, of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yep. Hey, you, you go back to that um that second edge third chapter. Uh, I got you. I don't think we finished it. Somebody still holds Psalms 140, uh, 147. Yep. Yeah. Somebody get Amos 3. Unless you want to go back to the top. No, because it was more in there where it says his name wouldn't be found nowhere in Israel. No, no yeah, you're going to read to the end. You're going to read to the end. Uh, Amos 3. Second Ezra 3 and 34. Uh -huh. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in balance, and there's also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Uh -huh. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sent into thy sight? What people have so kept thy commandments? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Go ahead. That shall find that Israel by name have but kept thy commandments. Israel thou, by name have did what? Have, have, so like have kept our precepts. Precepts, a precept basically is a commandment. That's what a precept means, is an, in, uh, an injunction or a commandment. Go ahead. But not the heathen. But not the heathen. So the only ones that's able to follow the Lord and keep his commandments and do as he said is the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Bible just said it. Can you get Psalms 147 and uh, 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 19? Bible for sure. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Mm -hmm. He sheweth his word unto Jacob. He sheweth his word unto Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Go ahead. He have not dealt so with any nation. He have not dealt so with any nation. Go ahead. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. As for his judgments, they have not known. So you know what? So the, so the rest of these heathens don't know the Lord. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Amos. 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 Three and two. Amos three and two. Uh -huh. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Now the Lord is talking to Israel. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Like, we're going to get to Deuteronomy 28, Lord willing, because we sin against the Lord. That's why we're being punished. That's it on that? That's why, that's why our captivity was the most harshest yeah, on the slavery that's ever, harsh ever recorded. Because <laughs> the, the, the scriptures say the Lord chastised whom exactly. we love. You know what I'm saying? So he really put a beating on us for, for what we did by following those other guys. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He really put a whooping on us. But it, it was really to humble us down. I love when he put You know? Hey Amen. Because ultimately the message is if you are an Israelite, 
if what we say resonates in your spirit, then yeah. you definitely are an Israelite. Sure. And if you, this place is gonna be destroyed by ICBM nucleus, fire. That's basically, that's, that's what's gonna happen. This place is gonna get destroyed. There's gonna be race wars. There's gonna be a race riot. There's gonna be a famine. People's not gonna be able to eat. People gonna eat their own kids. People gonna eat their own arms. Like all of this is coming to this place. What's the timeline on that? Already started? Basically, it's in the works. Uh, the RFID chip, you know about that? I was just gonna say that. What? The RFID chip? But what they plan on in, in planning people? Oh, it's, no. a, it's a chip where uh, yeah. they plan on having your money on it, all your information, oh, your medical yeah. records. Yeah. I think it's in the Obamacare bill. That's uh, the RFID which, microchip. In the Bible, it's called the Mark of the Beast. Revelation 13. The what? The Mark of the Beast. Oh, yeah. So, yep. and, and you got people that already has it. A lot of people, too. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you, you had the chip in U.S. soldiers and, 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 and everything. You which, know, and, you know, we know that's according to prophecy, Bible prophecy. That's right. Because you know what, they want slavery back. Because the only way you can build this country back is through free labor. So yep. you put you you get you put you put a chip in somebody's body. Yeah. Oh yeah. You put a uh, chip martial law. Yeah. Martial law. So I did the and you put a chip in somebody's body and put all their money on it and then take away the 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 the, the money source that you have. What do you have? You have a slave. Because you know what? Now, in order for him to get paid, he's got to he's got to submit fully because he got that chip. His money's on that chip. If if, if they don't want to submit to the government, they can just turn his chip off. And, and no, he say like the government, but it's really the elite banking family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Rothschilds, the Duponts, yeah, the, the Gettys, the right. Gettys, the people that run this earth. That's behind the scenes. Right. They're the ones that want to chip the masses of the people. Bro. You know, and it's it's close, man. We just one terrorist attack or yep. some type of natural disaster from it, man. Or, or biological yeah, attack, which, which they're gonna do it, man. Yep. That, that's, that's the time we in. So the bottom the bottom line is, get yourself right through these scriptures. Follow the way the Lord say walk. Do as He say do. You already got a beard on your face. That's a righteous thing. Yep. Yep. For you to have a beard on your face, you know that's that's a law in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so basically, we learn the laws, keep them to the best of our ability, walk how the Lord tell us to walk, and Lord willing, we'll be saved out of the, this bullshit that's coming. Because America ain't, ain't, ain't got that long. Every and kingdom, on, every and kingdom calling on his name. Too. And call him, that's key. That's key, it's faith in that name. You gotta believe in the name. Because Acts 4 and 12 say there's only one name under heaven whereby we must be saved, you know? And, and if you really believe, if you're an Israelite, like you feel like this is the truth, You'll come back here, you know? Yeah. You'll come back. The spirit is gonna have you come back, man. Which which we believe the spirit that you're probably is what I say. How how often are you guys out here? Uh, every Sunday. Every Sunday. Yep. Yeah, we start at three. Yep. Three to almost whatever. <laughs> yeah, almost whatever. <laughs> almost three to Yep. We done with that songs? There's more? It's 147. Yeah, it's more yeah. songs. We read the Amos, right? Oh Romans 9. Romans 9. Romans 9.1, mm -hmm. I say the truth in Hamashiach. Hamashiach is Hebrew for the anointing. Basically in the Greek you would say Christos, which is Christ. Go ahead. I lie not. So he's saying truth in the anointed, I lie not. Go ahead. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Mm -hmm. For I wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach mm -hmm. for my brethren. So he's saying he wish he can go through uh, the things that we all, he wish he can take up the sins of, of his brethren. Basically like uh, like who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ did, pretty much. And he said for his brethren. You know what uh, nationality Paul was? Can you go to uh, Romans 11 and 1? Romans 11 1. I say then, Hath the Most High cast away his people? Who is his people? The Israelites. Hath the Most High cast away Israelites? What'd he say? God forbid. God forbid. Go ahead. And that's another lie that they teach, like like the Jehovah Witnesses and shit. Mm -hmm. They teach that uh, that the Lord cast away the Israelites, which that's a lie. Paul just said something different. Mm -hmm. He said, God forbid. Three. For I also am an Israelite. Hold on, Paul said he's what? An Israelite. Paul said he's what? An Israelite. Go ahead. 
of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham. So all the Israelites come out of Abraham. They came out of Isaac. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Twelve tribes come out of the come out of Israel, right? Go ahead. Of, of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. So he's a Benjamite, right? Now jump back to Romans 9. So now we know who now we know what nationality is. Which the so, Benjamins would be the, the Haitian, I mean, uh, no, not the Haitians, the Jamaicans West and the West Indies. You know, you know basically the Jamaicans, uh, the Trinidad, Tobago, all of those. Go ahead, brother. For I wish, I mean, for I could wish that I were a curse from uh, Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, my according. My kinsmen? Who is your kinsman? According to the flesh. My brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. What? Go ahead. So, so these are people who's related to him. These are his family. Go ahead. Who are Israelites. Who are Israelites. Now, this is this is Romans 9, 9 chapter. Now, the book of Romans was what? A letter to the people in Rome. Right. So just letting you know that yep. this book of Romans was a letter to the Israelites that were in Rome. Because when you read the scriptures, Paul called himself a Roman. He said, I am a Roman citizen. But he from, just from, said it. From Taurus. From, from, yeah, from Tarsus. 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 Tarsus that were calling themselves Romans during those times, right? Go ahead. It said, who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption? You see, now, it says to what? To whom pertaineth the adoption? So this is the, who the adoption pertains to, the Israelites. This, the Bible just said it. Not the whole world. How can you, how can you misquote that? Like, how can you read so that so part of the Lord didn't adopt everybody. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom pertaineth the adoption? Go ahead. Hold okay, stop right there. Let me grab some real quick. Acts 5 and 29. Uh, then Peter and others, apostles, answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, mm -hmm. whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Mm -hmm. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior to be a prince and a savior go ahead for to give repentance for to give repentance because he came preaching repentance mm -hmm. right to the whole world right that's what it's gonna say no i'm asking you you think that's what it's oh. gonna say yeah probably to the whole world right yeah. go ahead to israel why didn't it say to the whole world i thought he came for the whole world it just said to israel mm -hmm. go ahead and forgiveness of sins. And forgiveness of sins. Now, we just went in, into who the laws was given to. You know what a sin is? Yeah. What's sin? <laughs> Something going against the Bible? Yeah. Transgression of the law. Until you first John 3 and 4. John 3 and 4. Transgression of the law is sin. So when you break the law, get it, get it, brother. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, book of uh, 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. The word transgressive means break. So whoever committed a sin breaks the law. Go ahead. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of the law. So if I was to shave off my beard when the Bible tells me in Leviticus 19.27, that's a sin. The Bible tells me in Leviticus the 11th chapter not to eat swine. So if I sat down and eat some goddamn pork chops, I'm sinning. Just like if I sleep with a, a, another man's woman, that's adultery. I'm sinning, mm -hmm. you know. So when you break the law, that's a sin. Who are the laws given to? The Israelites. So the Israelites are the only ones that can sin. The rest of the nation, do what the hell you want to do, because you're not under our covenant. The covenant was between the Most High and the Israelites. Yeah, that's why black men get razor bumps when they cut off their beard. You know, there's no other nation get razor bumps. Yep. Because they, that's, that's, that's a punishment from the Lord for breaking the laws. How many so-called white people you see with diabetes? They don't catch diabetes like that, it's like niggas. Diabetes. High blood pressure. High too. blood pressure, yeah, that's right. Heart attacks and strokes, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because, you know that damn because they eating pork, they eating shrimp, lobster, crab. The Bible tells us not to eat that. Mm -hmm. They eat catfish. How many niggas you know love catfish? 
know what I'm saying? saying? Hey, bottom feeders, period. Bottom feeders, yeah. Lives too shrimp, But um, where are we at? Back in Romans. Go ahead, brother. I got something. That's lucky. Uh, Romans 8 and 10, because you mentioned the covenant. For this is the covenant which I make with you. Yeah. Yeah. After 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 Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, I will make a new covenant with mm -hmm. the house of Israel mm -hmm. and with the house of Judah. And that new covenant is having the laws written in our mind, having that fleshly hurt. Yeah, okay. I'm going to jump to 10 since you just said that. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, not everybody. Mm -hmm. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, mm -hmm. and they shall be to me a people. Yep. So that's the new covenant, which only pertains to the Israelites. And Romans 9 will further prove that. Go ahead, brother. All right. To whom pertaineth the adoption? So who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption? The uh, the buying back of sons. Because it said that uh, so-called Jesus was for the reconciliation. Yep. When you look up that word reconcile, re means back or again. Mm -hmm. And the word concile comes from the Latin concellary, which means friendly. To make friendly again. You know? So who was friendly with the Most High that needed to be friendly back again? It's only the Israelites. Because the rest of the nations we just read in all these scriptures that the Lord didn't know them. He didn't, he didn't never mess with them. Go ahead. And the glory. So to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory, go ahead, glory and the covenant, is the, is the see, and the back, covenant. Back to the covenant. So the covenants only pertain to those who are Israelites, go ahead. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law, and go the, ahead. And the service of the most 